Welcome to the Late Bloomer Garden, where you'll always see monarch butterflies or caterpillars. Hi, my name is Charles Malky, biologist and plant expert with Ivory Organics, where we grow cool plants. And today we have the honor and privilege of being at Kay Cottrell's garden in the Pacific Palisades. She's an actress and director, and she is the host of the Late Bloomer Urban Gardening Show, which you must check out, where she travels the country. And Europe. <laughs> and Europe, interviewing gardeners and bringing their expertise to her YouTube channel, which you can capitalize on and make this your best growing season ever. That's right. I just try to inspire people wherever I go because I realize I have a small space garden in Los Angeles, urban garden in Los Angeles, and I can't cover everything and I can't grow everything here. I'm close to the ocean, so I wanna get out. We, yesterday we were at Charles's garden, so I'll be uploading that video at some point. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and then I like to show other people who possibly can't travel what the world looks like. And if I can get there and inspire people, then that makes me really happy. That's fantastic. And your garden is truly inspiring, even to me. I thought I had completely planted my garden out, <laughs> but you've done these layers and levels of gardening within your garden that I know I can probably do twice as much more you can. after being here today. So yeah. it's been truly eye-opening for me and I'm hoping I can share a little bit of what I've seen here that some of our viewers can um, capitalize on and bring into their gardens this next growing season. Right, it's awesome. So one of the things I noticed here within your garden is a hibiscus tree, it looks like, um, shape that you've got in the corner of your property that seems to be struggling um, what variety of hibiscus is that? that? That's a cranberry hibiscus. The original plant was sent to me by uh, a late bloomer fan in Mobile, Alabama, Pat Smith. And I wound up going to visit Pat and seeing her garden in Mobile last year. So it was a really great full circle thing. And then this hibiscus really loved this sunny spot on the corner of my driveway. And it went through last winter beautifully and it was just starting to bloom in November and we've had a real cold snap. I mean, this is really unusual. It's been really chilly here and windy and it just looked like it was fried. So we pruned it all back and we're, it looks terrible. We're, well, ho we're hoping you can help. <laughs> that's the reason it caught my eyes. We're gonna be capitalizing on, it's a gardening concept known as whitewashing. And we're gonna be using the Ivory Organics 3-in-1 Plant Guard to basically protect the plant from it's now just overexposed to too much light. We know that hibiscus typically like to be in full sun and you've strategically placed it in a very sunny location, but too much sun can cause sunburn damage to the plant in the summer. In the winter, there's another sunburn phenomenon known as sun scald. And what we're gonna do today is protect the plant to give it best chance to coming back next spring. Awesome. Yeah. So let's get off to- Let's get busy. Let's get busy, let's do it. So behind me is the hibiscus that we're gonna care for right now. And I brought with me the three colors of Ivory Organics, white, brown, and green. Which one do you think we should go with? Well, I think brown is more natural for this plant. Brown's a great choice. So let's do that. Okay, cool. Aaron, leave that corn mat alone. <laughs> <laughs> you, you see, it's like So here I am with Patty Hayden from Las Vegas, who is a high school teacher. And we're very thankful to our teachers that inspire us and motivate us. And she also introduced me to Kay Cottrell. So I'm eternally grateful for that as well. Thank You're more you. than welcome. And we've been um, YouTube friends as well for how long now? Probably about two years. It's been about two years. Yeah. Well, let's get to painting Kay's tree. I've got here the Ivory Organics 3-in-1, color brown as she requested. And let's take turns. So we just finished 
whitewashing and the color brown, the hibiscus here in Kay's garden. But one of the things I wanted to share with you that has truly inspired me here in the garden is the layers. Come and check this out over here. Over here, she's got bok choy and cardamom. And right behind that is an olive tree. And then she's got her guavas and she's just got layer upon layer within her garden. And that just allows you to double and triple on the amount of plant life you can bring into your garden. And I hope this helpful tip is something you can bring into your home garden this next growing season. So to see a lot more of Kay Cottrell and her gardening experiences across the country and Europe and beyond and visiting just a lot of gardens and bringing that experience to you, where can they go? Kay Cottrell, Late Bloomer Urban Organic Garden Show on YouTube and Late Bloomer Show on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and what else is there? <laughs> all social media. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna put those links down below in the comment and be Thank sure you. to also hit in addition to subscribing to our YouTube channel, be sure to hit that push bell notification yes, to get informed do. of all of those educational videos as she makes them available. And the same thing with the Ivory Organics YouTube channel. And if you've enjoyed this educational moment brought to you by Ivory Organics, be sure to give us a thumbs up. And as always, wishing you all happy gardening. Happy gardening and happy new year. <laughs>